Yes. Okay. Uh, the last one, what I recommend, it's it's not anywhere there, but I, I think we just talked about it in Finnish, that every single one where you have that uh, name of the model, I recommend, uh, this one I will delete, but I will recommend that you go, am I sharing something? Yes. I am not sharing anything. Sorry. So, like I said, every single one where you have the pages, I recommend that uh, what you do, you take the link on on our Facebook, that Facebook link to that uh, blog website. Make it active. Well, basically, normally, quite often, it, it's already active when I head it, take it from there. Make it active so next time when you are heading for that personal branding and marketing, uh, it's easy to find the, all the information, all the tasks and everything directly from that page. And then remember, always upload. But now, I'll need to back. Sorry. I'm so sorry you are able to see now this, but... The last uh, slides, what I would like that we go through, it's uh, how to um, how do you take this um, video CV, what is important for the video CV. And unfortunately, I have talked too much. So we are a little bit late on a time schedule. Uh, but you will find all the information in here. So, uh, as you see, there is the uh, this season how you learn how to make the video CV, and uh, I think the main things are all the information are under here. So there is the presentation, and unfortunately, this time um, we don't have a lot of time to go through. But um, what it's important that you create the video script but without the script you are not able to uh, do the actually recording. Um, are we able to turn around the um, the camera? Yeah. So I will show you some tips when you start to do the recording first, and then we talk about the script itself. Mm. Okay, so basically, uh, what I would like to you the guys to do or remember that basically when you are, if you are using a uh, iPad, remember use it always this way, not never this way. If you're taking personal photos, that could be perhaps fine. But for video, even though if you are using a uh, phone, always, always, always take the video for this way. And then the second one is that when you are actually taking a videos, will you keep that one? When you are actually taking videos, the main really important thing is that where where is your sort of face? Uh, it should be kind of looking for your eyes like this one. It's too high for me. Uh, please use some advice. If you keep using for your own um, personal uh, hand, quite often it's uh, you can't put it handle for all the time the same. Oh, it's now difficult even for me. So like for this. If you're using the handles, you should use this. Um, I don't screw screwdriver. I don't remember exactly the name, but keep it steady. So then, now when you're handling, you're making sure that your hands 
they are not getting too tired. Uh, you are able to take the study uh, photos or films, what you are creating. The second one, you see it behind us. Uh, we're going to use green screen. Uh, why it's called green screen? They could be blue screen as well. But the colors, what you are using, it could be only one cloth. It, can't, it don't have to be exactly this device. But the thing is that um, most of us, we don't have green color. We don't have blue color in our skin. So the color has to be natural for our skin. So we can delete basically the background uh, color. So in our case, what we are going to create when we are creating the video, we are creating uh, with the green screen. So the script uh, and script, I recommend that you have it somewhere close by, that you remember what you should say. Uh, for the script, I think it's important that remember whoever is recording you, that you do not have a look directly to that person. Well, actually you are looking directly to the camera, but not to the script, because there you will see it, the differences. And in our case, uh, we are creating um, photo screen behind it. So there is first the script itself, and then there is a photos related to that script, whatever you are telling about. The script itself, uh, it should relate what have you studied, where have you worked, have you been in a work placement, have you worked at the broad, uh, what have you done there, what are the relevance of that specific workplace, wherever you are aiming for. In this case, uh, when we are creating uh, this uh, CV video, you do not have exactly the workplace, but uh, you are aiming, creating the best possible video of yourself. The video CV, what have you done? Like in here, uh, one of the boys uh, has been in competition. Um, those are important that perhaps you might have a photo uh, behind it that you are telling that uh, I have been taking part of this and this. I know some of the students, they might be having involved with the pop-ups. They have been different uh, working. Um, they might work or they have been working in different work placements. So all of those are relevant. And then always when you do the video CV, remember it has to be 30 to 90 seconds. If you uh, make it too long, it's... Uh, uh, most of employees, they don't, they don't have a chance to have a look. They don't basically care about it. And the last one, when you are writing the script, uh, what you are writing about there, it's um, especially, I think the Finnish people have that problem that uh, we talk like monotone, that it's same line, that none of the words come up. And I know that I don't have any of these problems, but... Uh, but that's okay. At the end of the video, remember always say hello or I hope you liked what you see or check on those uh, Instagram accounts what I also have or thank that they have been um, so keen uh, and having a look of the video what you created. So it has to be personal. It has to be the best skills, whatever you have. And remember, all the employees, they like to hear that you are flexible, you are a team worker. Those are the key words. They always, always uh, love to hear it. Okay, that part, um, is it sort of... Uh, did you guys understood? Okay for everyone? Okay, good. Uh, then I would like, because I, I was... Wait. Nyt voit kääntää kameraa tänne päin. Okei. Okay. <köhön> so, now I go back to the website. Hmm. I should go back to the website. So, when you click on that, uh, on a website, when you click on that 3D photo, you are able to see the whole photo. So the idea is that basically if you don't touch the uh, photo itself, it keeps turning and you are able to see all the hotspots, etc. And like I said, do keep in your mind that uh, we have gone through now A, B, and uh, from B, um, 
I recommend that you have a look also those uh, extra icons. The B, uh, it's basically when you do your branding, and those are examples. Um, like in here, this is Aromi, and from information you will see that it's that's most famous um, sort of professional magazine what we have. And these two boys, they were um, in work placement in Lisbon, and they were able to get front of the um, Aromi. Uh, and those kind of things that they basically, they start to brand themselves already at that point. So we created, a, of course, videos. You, you are able to see the videos in here from the boys. Uh, and then the other thing what I, I think it, in this specific photo is important, that even the restaurants, they brand themselves. This restaurant, when they were building this restaurant, they started to do video. Um, this video is under this eye. So it's basically in 2017, they started to create um, Bairo de Aviles restaurant. And uh, even when the restaurant was in the crash point, they started branding it. They start uh, lousing the all the different kind of video. And idea it's uh, now behind it as well that how do we create our portfolios? How do we create our professional uh, materials? So see, uh, this is actually the part what we went through um, how to create your blog. If there was any uh, sort of clips or you did not remember, you will have a look here. So those tasks you already have uh, done. Uh, these tasks, basically, we did it already. It's, um, oh no, tasks in here. So you created those already. You uh, created uh, the pages. You created uh, your editor photo. And remember those uh, Iris and the Estonia, uh, you have an editor photo. Please make sure that you do add the photo as well. So in this part, uh, it's uh, how do you create the articles? We created the first article. Uh, well, basically, that was not article. That was just the info from us. But I would like to you to do after this uh, class is over. Uh, so basically, the article, um, what did we do today? This is the first module. How do you think? And uh, the information is behind it here. So this is the one of the tasks, what you have to do on your free time. I will put um, extra info of that on the Facebook as well. So D. D, we went actually um, a little bit, I told you about it. There is, again, some really good clips. Uh, those, again, are um, our students' videos, how they have done uh, video CVs. I think they are pretty good examples. But in here is articles as well. So the main thing, again, when you are creating your uh, video CV script, uh, information about that, you will find it in number D. So basically the application. So what do you need to put in on your video script? Uh, make it sure that uh, when you are actually filming, you are professional, uh, you have your professional photos, and you put the information what is important uh, for your future employees to see or read. Basically, this is the one for the script. What you need to do, the finish ones, please make sure that you have a look at this one as well. This is the task what you need to do when you create the script. Okay. Okay. Um, so there is the task that our idea was that if we would be faster, we would start the right the script already, but uh, we are kind of running out of the time because we're going to supposed to finish at three o'clock in our time. Uh, but just a reminder of you what you need to, and uh, when you write the script, as the task says, that um, first make the bullet points of those 
work placements where you have been, make sure that you mention those which are important, uh, are important uh, for your future. That's really important. And then we have uh, our plan was going from A to D. But what is your sort of um, assignment? It's remember to add that photo to your blog page. Uh, the ones who did not sort of edit the photo. Uh, remember, make sure that your link, that like personal branding and marketing, that web page to blog page where you have personal branding and marketing, make it easy for you to find the material. And create the script and then you need to start the filming um, i think the main point what i was uh, going through when you start the filming is that the way how you handle your device that's i think the most important thing but remember as well that there are some windows programs uh the or apps I don't remember exactly. I haven't tested all of them, but I know that you could even sat on computer and uh, you could do the uh, video as well. Then you need to make sure the background, uh, wherever you are sitting with your computer, the background is clean, the background, it's not noisy, even though when you are doing your video, that's those are the <coughs> important things that you know that uh, the background is quiet, uh, not background the area or room is quiet and background is uh, sorry so <clears throat> in this model i heard it uh some of you guys already had it uh instagram count uh in this model we are going to create the instagram count as well uh if you already have it that's fantastic professional one the instagram account uh there are some changes what i would like you to do um if you don't have it already so the change is what all of you guys i would like to like you have it's professional photo is this photo could be from the kitchen this photo could be that it's showing what you do from the competition that's that's completely fine well no 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 so somewhere area about but somewhere sort of it's yeah but anyways this photo is fine this photo but it has to be professional most of the photos still uh what i can find it from the chefs are just uh chefs themselves and background is calm but it depends um the other thing what i would like you to change if you already have or if you haven't already uh, done this uh, when you write your um, Instagram account the lines what you are making there make sure that they know who you are and why do you have this professional Instagram account so I have here um, this is pretty famous chef in uh, Finland uh, it's uh, Kari Aihinen and it's it's only it says I'm a cook Nothing else. Basically, it doesn't say even a chef. Uh, some of them it says that I work in Palace, which is quite a nice restaurant. Uh, some of them say some lines that I'm interested in that and that. Uh, some of them, they have extra links to like blog pages or web pages, what they have. Those are the professionals, what, what I sort of, with for whom we are working with. So uh, this, uh, Mikael, you saw it. So again, same reminder, uh, he has the professional photo. And then here are the lines why this uh, base is created for. But here's lines as well that uh, you can find me in Blocker or I have a professional block count. And of course, there's a link, the, uh, the other count what he has. But that's optional. Uh, as long you have the professional stuff in here. So this one again. Uh, he created, uh, he is our former student, uh, he works in Palace at the moment, uh, but he created this uh, professional Instagram while he was working, uh, well, while he was studying in Omnia, and then he had his personal one. 
nowadays I can see that both of the accounts are professional ones. So what it means that um, he has split the account. So um, the people who is following him here does not follow him here. So I personally recommend that make them really separate. Make your personal account and make your professional account. Don't mix them up. The other ways you miss some of the followers. And now when we are creating Instagram accounts, please those those ones who already have and those ones who's going to create the Instagram account, please make the link for the Facebook that all the others, uh, Finis, uh, Omnias, Vamias, uh, Tardus, um, Iris, and Spanish partners, they are able to like your Insta Instagram account. I think it's really important that always when you work, you make sure that they keep following you as well. And uh, for what we need to do with this Instagram account, uh, there is the other baits we use uh, for um, blocker. There is not the cat get for Instagram. You need to use uh, so called snap wings. And uh, that's the app. Uh, go for these web baits and then you will find uh, the application. You need to sign in. You could sign in uh, for newcomer or you could sign in with the LinkedIn uh, with the Facebook and different apps. So when you go there, there's specific rulings, what you need to do, what you need to click. Most of them, they are already okay. So you just accept them as they are. And then the last bit, it's that you need the code. There is the click and use this code in Blocker. So now where we created the basis and we use that plus sign, is the same, there is the cat gets and there's HTML JavaScript. Uh, you click on that and add the code. It's the, exactly the similar way that you go for the cat get, make plus for the sign where is the HTML JavaScript and paste the, the code over there. So then you will see it, it's edit, you can see it and appears in your blog page. So basically, those are the tasks, what you still need to do. And because this is the main, um, so the blog, what we created, uh, it's going for be for you to work for all this uh, time until the competition. And these blog pages are the ones what we're going to have a look, or students, they're going to have a look at the end. Uh, so make sure that you start to create it now already, uh, professional material, make sure that it's, it's clear, it's, it's nice to look, it's something what you would be proud of. Um, and if you need any help uh, while we are studying, even though I don't have personal branding and marketing, if I haven't created enough material or if some material is missing some tips, uh, please let me just know and I make sure that I create the material to help you to create the most and best and beneficial to, uh, blocker baits and Instagram account that you can. Is there any questions? No, all right, Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, just want to clarify, this no, this not a question. So, we're going to start the video CV. Yes. Individually. Yes. yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. First and most important thing when you start to do the video CV is the script. So. Think, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Think what you sort of write there. And then basically, we have that one I forgot, but when you are filming, uh, we often we make many clips and sometimes we stitch them together, sort of make the create one, the, the best one. And um, I think it's it's wise to do it a couple of times, then uh, the video CV is the best of the best. I mean that you keep talking a couple of times for the video while someone is filming and 
that's that's the way how you get the best results. Okay, thank you. Uh, really, a, a, a little detailed question. Uh, should the video also be done in uh, the chef's whites, or can it be free, free time clothing? Mm -hmm. Well, um, my personal, what we have done, it, uh, it's um, Seth White's, well, I would say 90-90% sure that uh, we are always having. Uh, for 100% sure, we have some somewhere that, you know, either a bring or something that only as Loco is showing, that's for 100% sure. Uh, but it's up to you. It's normally when you creating the video CV, it's, it's the recommended that you would dress up as you would go for actual interview, but uh, at least ours, what we have done it, the best views or best uh, uh, sort of recommendations what we have had is when the students are using the self voice. Thank you, then I know what example to follow. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I forgot that I was still here. Any others? Because now it starts to be that uh, our time is um, start running out, and it's my time to say thank you for your all that you was patient enough, uh, you was able to listen, you created awesome blogs. Some of the blogs I went have a look already, uh, but we still have little time. That if you still have a questions, you can post the questions directly to Facebook as well, um, or just passed on, like in Vami Asami or Hermanni, or Secret, or Maurice, and I will get them. <coughs> okay, so just to say um, thank you, Una. I know this is the first one up, so the first person up is always the toughest. And uh, from the on behalf of the students here, and I teach really, we'd like to thank you. And it was nice to see everybody again. And we look forward to seeing you all here over the next module. Awesome. Thank you. So in my, <coughs> therefore, I, well, I could say regards from Finland, it's really rainy and too warm, no snow whatsoever. So I hope that all other guys have been better weather than us. Ireland is the same as normal, very wet, very windy, very cold. Ah, okay. Well, perhaps then I still stay in Finland. I wish we would have a snow. But I just heard from League partners that they have snow. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Okay, um, that's it. Um, I hope you have a fantastic two weeks. So next time we will see... Um, is it 20? I need to... 29th and uh, Vamia takes lead on that and um, if any of you like I said earlier this is nothing to do course but you need to help with 360 if you need to help with the material please contact me with that as well thank you so much thank you Vamia <laughs> thank you so much have a nice okay bye bye Bye. Yes, we got down. Bye. <laughs> Bye.